Hi Pisces, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning, and thank you so much if you are, I really appreciate you guys. If you guys are new, thank you also for stopping by, I really appreciate you. Hope the reading resonates, if it does, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I am giving a bonus reading to the sign with the most likes every month, and then I'll be choosing from the comments of the bonus reading to give away a free private reading. So definitely hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if the reading doesn't hit home, you should definitely check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, or just your other signs. Even if it does resonate, you should check those out because you can get more information. Okay. Also, you can check out, you know, the signs of the person that you're interested in. So that's like eight readings that you can watch and get as much information as you possibly can because different details usually come out. So um, if it does hit home and you want something more personal, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You can also find there the link to my Patreon page where I and will be uploading an extended version of this reading as well as extended versions to all the Zodiac spreads I do. And those are available, all 12 of them, for only $3.33. So just throwing that out there if you want to follow me over there. Otherwise, it's fine. I'm just fine with uh, chatting with you guys here and giving you guys a good reading. So uh, you can also find in the description box, I have a new Instagram and a Twitter account. So if you want to follow me there, you certainly can. I appreciate you. And I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, this is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Pisces for the month of April 2020. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there and enjoying some family time, maybe doing some spring cleaning during the global lockdown. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what's going on for Pisces in April? Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020? And is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. So let's see what we got going on here, Pisces. How you feel about your person, the Nine of Cups. You may be wishing for them. You see them as a wish come true. Yeah, I feel like you are wishing for something to happen here. Let's see how they see you. You're coming across the Two of Swords. Let's see. Upright or Reverse Spirit, the Nine of Cups. The Two of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, they're seeing you as somewhat... Whoops. You know what? Sorry. They're seeing you as somewhat uh, indecisive, having a decision to make. Maybe you're at a stalemate with this person. They feel you might have blocked this person. Or they feel blocked. Um, but I... I feel that there's a decision that they feel you need to make and you're taking a while to make it because you don't feel like you have all the information. You're feeling very confused. All right. How they're feeling about you. Justice could be dealing with a Libra or someone with Libra in their chart or you could have Libra in your chart. Spirit upright or reversed justice. Okay, so they may be feeling, I'll need clarifiers for this, but they may be feeling like they want to make things right with you. If there was something, if they wronged you somehow, they want to make that right. Or if you wronged them, they want you to make it right. You could be married to this person and they could be seeing you as their spouse and feeling, you know, that they are, that you're their legal spouse and they, they want to stay that way. They're feeling, um, they're wanting balance here with you and they want justice there. I feel like they're feeling there's something that's unjust here or they, they want to make things right. Either they want to make things right or they want you to make things right is what I'm feeling here. Okay. In the past between you and this person, the King of Cups, let's see. I don't know. Did I check justice? It's supposed to be upright, right? Justice upright. The King of Cups upright or reversed.
Uh, okay, he's in reverse. So I feel like somebody was emotionally unavailable in the past. One of, one of you was emotionally unavailable. I'll get more, you know, cards and clarify, but that's what I'm picking up first off here. Currently between you and this person, the Eight of Wands. So upright or reversed, Eight of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like right now things are getting ready to change. There's a shift taking place right now. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll get more cards. We'll have to see that outcome. But right now there's going to be a fast change. There could be communication. Uh, you guys could be having some fast back and forth communication, texting, or, you know, however you communicate. This also is passion. This absolutely could be passion. So this could be things are revving up, you know, getting ready uh, for some really passionate bedroom pleasures i don't know <laughs> but uh, this could also indicate distance also so there could you guys could be far from each other and maybe there's going to be some traveling back and forth between you guys in the month of april or uh it's starting now because this is current energy uh i feel like it might be communication and i'm actually really picking up that change i feel like there's a swift change going to happen here a shift in energy okay now the most likely move that your person is most likely to make or the energy they're bringing your way. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Spirit upright or reverse the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so your person wants something stable. They want to offer something stable to you. The Pentacles, like the Ace of Pentacles for me includes the Ace of Swords, Cups, and Wands because Pentacles are the physical manifestation of the thought, the feeling the action okay so you first think it which is the swords you then you feel it which is the cups or are the cups then you do something about it which are the wands and then you have it which are the pentacles so the pentacles are very solid and stable and it, it's a nice very nice divine opportunity for something very solid and stable and i feel that includes a lot of thought and emotion and uh passion <coughs> excuse me in your advice regarding this person scorpio we have the world Let's see. Ace of Pentacles, upright or reversed? The world, upright or reversed? Yeah, Scorpio, I think you're being... Oh, no, I'm sorry, I said Scorpio. Bad, my bad. This card was in Scorpio's reading that I just did. This is Pisces, I know that. Pisces, what you're being advised is to... First of all, again, this is another card of distance. So I feel like maybe go the distance. Uh, but this is also about lessons learned. What have you been learning from this connection, Pisces? What were you meant to learn? What was the main lesson? This is about cycles, cycles ending, cycles beginning. This, again, can be distance, and it's about, for me, karma, because it's very Saturnian energy. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Um, but I feel like this is advising you to really search this situation and figure out what it is that you were supposed to be learning from this. Okay. I'll, with the clarifiers, I might pick up more on that, but right now I'm getting, you need to learn your lesson. You need to make sure that you've learned the lessons that you were supposed to learn in this connection. Not saying the connection's over, but there was a lesson recently here. I feel spirits saying, Hey, there was a lesson. Did you learn it? All right. Um, in the outcome. Now, this is preliminary. I'll get clarifiers. Oh, God. That is so nice, Pisces. This is beautiful. The Ten of Freaking Cups. It looks like you learned how to be happy. Spirit Upright or Reversed, the Ten of Cups, please. Yeah. So, it looks like some real nice emotional satisfaction is coming your way in April. Look at that beautiful card. It's just so happy. It just makes you smile looking at it. You know, this is pure emotional bliss, like fulfillment, heart fulfillment. Like, it's beautiful. I can't wait to get the clarifiers and see what else is going on there. Ooh, overall energy is the lovers. Upright or reverse spirit, the lovers. Yeah, it's upright. So this is a very strong soul connection you have with this person. Now, I will say for some of you, this could indicate that there's a choice to be made. It doesn't have to be between two people, but it can be, it can be, and your person sees you as having a choice to make. So I do feel there's an energy of choice here. 
Um, and it may involve two people. So you may have a choice to make between two people, Pisces, or you're one of two people that your person is making a choice between. It doesn't have to be that. It can just be indicating the very strong soul magnetic attraction that you have for each other. And this connection is supernatural feeling and it is supernatural indeed. Um, but for some of you, I definitely do see with the other cards here, I just feel there's lessons to be learned, cycles closing out, something was wrong that needs to be made right, or balance is needing to be restored. There is a choice to be made, or your person is seeing you as having a choice to be made, and there's choice here as well. Your person is wishing, so I feel like, or you're wishing, sorry, you're wishing. You're wishing for your person. What are you wishing for? Huh. Let's get some clarifiers. These, these energies can all be mixed and matched, however it fits your situation. You just won't have to force it, but it is a general reading. So if I say Pisces, could be the cross watcher and vice versa. Okay, keep that in mind. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out. Two by two, with two cards at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, please. You guys have been through something. Ten of Swords. Was there a betrayal, Pisces? Doesn't have to be, but you guys have definitely been on a cycle. I can see that with the World card here. Some spirit upper. I'm um, sorry. The top 16 cards, the correct cards to clarify for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2020, and is are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? Thank you. All right. So Pisces, how you're feeling about your person? You're wishing for something, wishing for the burden to go away, maybe. The magician trying to make something happen, wishing you could make something happen. Let's see. Spirit upright or reverse the Ten of Wands. The Magician. Yeah, I feel like you're wishing you want to release the burden, not the connection, but you're you're wait you're really wishing for the burdensome phase of this connection to come to an end. You want to release the burden, whatever that is. You're wanting to manifest this connection. You've been trying. You've been doing everything you can to try to make this happen, Pisces. <laughs> okay, everything. Um, you know, it could just be the old-fashioned way, you know, just really trying to use your, you know, intuition and your wiles to try to, you know, make this connection a reality. Or you could be using the law of attraction. Some of you could actually be using spell work to try to manifest this. But this is a card of manifestation. And you do have what it takes. Okay, or you feel your person has what it takes. This is how you feel about your person. You definitely feel that your person has what it takes and uh, you are trying to manifest this connection. You're ready to release this heavy energy that you've been carrying in this connection. Okay. How your person is seeing you confused. Seven of Pentacles and the Fool. All right. Spirit upright or reverse the Seven of Pentacles. And the fool. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Pisces, I feel like maybe you do have another person. It could be some of you Pisces or cross watcher or whatever. But your person thinks you do. Your person thinks you have, you are not doing a whole lot right now because you're waiting. You're making them waiting. You're keeping them waiting. And you're trying to decide. You do have a decision to make. And you're reevaluating everything to decide what direction you want to take a leap of faith in. Okay, so for some of you, you do have two people, two options. Okay, if it's not two people, it's two options. Either I go in this direction with, you know, your person or 
I go in a, a different direction, you know, not necessarily another person, but maybe just another, you know, maybe you want to move to Bali or something. I don't know. Or you want to, you know, just work <laughs> or something. You want to focus on work or something like that. But you do, your person sees you as having two or a choice and you, and they see you as taking your time and making it <laughs> and making this decision about where you want to, you know, you want to take your leap of faith in where you want to, if you want, whether or not, maybe also could just be whether or not you want to start over with this person. Maybe a lot transpired and you don't know, and you're trying to decide if you want to start over. All right. So how they feel about you. We have the justice card, the five of wands and the four of cups. Okay. Let's see. Spirit upright or reverse the five of wands. And the Four of Cups. Really? Okay, so it looks like they feel like they may have lost an opportunity with you. Missed an opportunity with you. There was some kind of conflict and they want to come out of it. Okay, so I do feel like either they want to make things right with you or they want you to make things right with what, with them. Whoever did the wronging, okay, there is a conflict. There may have been a competition. Here's another card that indicates there could be a third party um, with competition. Okay, so, but they want to end that competition. They want to end the struggle, the conflict, the strife. They want to make things right, balance the scales. They feel like, though, they might have missed this opportunity with you, okay? One way or the other, either they feel like they might lose or that they they might have messed up and lost you so they feel like they might have lost this missed this opportunity in the past the ten of cups and the eight of pentacles let's see spirit upright or reverse the ten of cups please and the eight of pentacles Yeah. So in the past, there was definitely somebody that was emotionally unavailable and it just didn't work out because somebody wasn't opening up. Okay. The King of Cups in reverse. Somebody was very closed off, not about trying to have some kind of family style future. Okay. And it just didn't work out. Somebody stopped putting effort in, in the past. All right. So right now we have a shift in energy. I feel, Ooh. Let's see. Spirit upright or reverse the five of pentacles and the devil. Well, that's good. So there's a release right now. Uh, if it's not happening right now, if you're not sensing that right now, it's just about to happen. There's a release. There's communication. There's a shift in energy and you're coming out of the cold. You guys are probably on, you know, not together. Okay, and so this is this energy in the upright. It's dark. Look at it. It's rejection. It's an energy of rejection, an energy of poverty, consciousness, feeling left out in the cold. Uh, I call it the freezer card. You're in the freezer, their freezer, they're in your freezer. You give the cold shoulder, right? And a lot of toxicity tied to that, right? Feeling tied and bound and also just very toxic, negative energy. Okay, these are both in the reverse, and that's the shift, okay? So I feel like you guys have been in some very dark energy in this connection. Remember that Ten of Swords flew out? Okay, I feel like the shift is coming, and you guys are going to be coming out of the cold. And the toxicity will be releasing from this connection. All right, so it looks like your person wants to offer their pentacle. And some passion, maybe. Let's see. Spirit upright or reverse, the Knight of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, your your person definitely. I mean, you you want to manifest this. You want this with this person, but you're they see you as having a decision to make. But your person, you both want this. I, it's from what I can see, you both want this, but your person is feeling kind of down, like they've like they've missed the opportunity somehow. Okay, uh, but. Listen, this Knight of Wands, he's known as the player, but not when he's compared with the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> okay? So this means passion. This means your person wants to bring you stability and passion. Like, you don't forget this guy or girl. You don't forget them in the bedroom. I'll tell you that right now. The passion is hot, 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 okay? And they see you as a soulmate. They are missing you very much. They're missing you right now. Um... This could involve children for some of you, just letting you know, uh, this is what their most likely next move is. So if children are involved, it may have something to do with the children. If you've been married to this person or if you have children, they may need to contact you about them. 
doesn't have to be. This is an energy of missing you. They're missing you. They're going to communicate that to you, I feel. They're going to bring the passion and they're going to offer stability. Now, whether or not they're actually, I actually do think that they're going to make the move and bring it to you. But for some of you, it could just be the way they receive you if you come towards them. Because if you've got a decision to make, then maybe you're going to go towards them and they're going to accept your pinnacle and be passionate and all that. But I feel for most of you, they're probably coming your way. They're going to ride on in passionately and offer up that pinnacle because they miss the hell out of you right now, Pisces. <laughs> they really do. Your advice, the world, what have you learned? Four of Pentacles. Oh, justice. Have you learned to be fair? Maybe you weren't being very fair before. Especially if you were juggling um, more than one option. I don't see the juggling card here, but I do see some choice cards that may indicate that. So, Spirit Upright or Reverse the Four of Pentacles. And Justice. Okay, so Scorpio, this being here, I feel like you were the one, because I'm looking back to the past here, and in the past, somebody was emotionally unavailable and not really about trying to, you know, build that family life at that time, and it was made someone unhappy, There, somebody stopped putting work in, and it just didn't work out, right? But I feel like, I feel like that might have been you, for most of you, it, it was the Scorpio, I feel, that was uh, in that energy, and you're being advised... So, A, look at the lessons that you should have learned. These can both be about lessons, but, I mean, just this is not, it's more about a decision. So you're being advised to make that freaking decision. Here, your person sees you as having a decision to make. There's three cards here of decision. Actually, this is decision too, but it's in your person's energy. Okay, so I do feel like you may have that choice to make, Pisces. Okay, so if I said Scorpio before, I apologize. Um, you need to open up. Pisces and you know that's very typical that's when I said the Scorpio because this is the card of Scorpio but this is a Pisces reading and I feel that you were emotionally closed off Pisces and um you know just maybe just being quiet about it and you need to open up and that is a trait of Pisces to be kind of you know close the high priestess is a card of Pisces just you know really keeping to yourself kind of or not not talking all that much um not sharing your emotions all that much uh, so you're being advised to open up. Maybe also go the distance if there is distance between you guys. And if you guys were the ones to mess things up, then you're being advised to make it right. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it could be, again, where you were married to this person and that you're being advised, remember, this is your spouse. This is your legal spouse. You're legally bound to them at this time anyway. And um, But I feel also go the distance. Lessons learned. What have you learned? You need to open up. And it's time to make things right and, and be balanced. Be fair and balanced. All right, let's see your outcome. Ten of Cups, like it's going to get any better than that. Well, that's a contradiction right there. I bet it goes reversed. Five of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Five of Cups, two of Pentacles. Upright or reverse the Five of Cups, Spirit. And the Two of Pentacles. Thank you very much. Now, remember, I said I did not see the juggling card here before, but it's here in the outcome in the reverse. So that means maybe you were juggling Pisces or somebody might have been juggling and it might have been two people. OK, so there may have been a choice to be made or there is a choice to be made. And it looks like it's going to be made in April. This, You know, this is the choice is being made and it's going to end all this disappointment and sadness that's been overshadowing this connection. OK, and it's going to lead to this. The Ten of Freaking Cups. So this is pure emotional satisfaction, pure bliss, happy family, happy life, rainbows and butterflies. It's not like it's forever, you know, but it's like you're going to be in that energy forever. But this is going to be real emotional happiness coming your way in April and in your outcome there, Pisces. So good for you. But I, you do have a decision to make first. You need to really use your intuition to make it and think about the lessons that uh, you were supposed to learn from everything that's transpired so far. Okay, in your overall energy, I should have looked at this first. Ooh, nice. The Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Upright or reverse the Ace of Cups. Upright or reverse the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I wish I would have done that before, but it doesn't matter. It still says that somebody is returning to this connection 
because there is love. They want a new beginning in love. There is so much love here in this connection and somebody is returning and somebody, you both want it. You both want it. You just got to release that toxicity and you need to make that choice if it's you that needs to make it, Pisces, okay? So that was your reading for April 2020. If you want some more information about how your person feels, the most likely next move, your advice and the outcome as well, some Oracle cards, you can follow me over to Patreon. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you have a beautiful April. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Please stay, stay safe and healthy with everything that's going on out there in our world. And uh, I will see you guys back in May. Thanks so much. Bye.